Nash, Sarah Nash, the down low. I think it'll be an awesome experience. It's not something you can, not every, everyone can say they've done. Um, I quite like the idea of like getting rid of my phone, get rid of makeup, like going back to basics, living a bit like a cave woman, hand to, like food hand to mouth, um, and like just hunter gathering. What would you be most nervous about if you were if you were to make it? Well, I know it's a very hot place that they send you. I'd be a bit worried about burning every day. Other than that, not really anything. Nothing. Nothing. Take e it in my stride. It'd be too easy. Just take it in my stride. I might be a bit moany and grumpy if I'm hungry and tired, but I think I'd get on with it. Now you've got to be a team player when you get out there. Is there a job that you wouldn't do if you didn't want to do it, or would you just muck in? I'd muck in. I'm not sure how I'd be with fish guts or any human fluid. I'm not very good at that. No? So if someone was sick, no. I couldn't so clean it up. sick and urine, bad times? Couldn't clean it up. Right, okay. So someone else has got to do that. Someone else has got to do that. Do you think you could kill a pig, yes or no? If I was really hungry, I would definitely kill it because I would just be crackling. Okay. I'd eat the head. I'd eat everything. Really? Yeah, the ears. I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat this. Um, if you had a if you had a pair of pigs, what would you call them? I wouldn't name them. I'd eat them. Yeah, oh, fair enough. There's no sage and sage and onion. Yeah. Now, most importantly, you've got to kill your own food while you're out there. We've already heard from uh, a certain George North what, that you're prepared to do that. But what are you like when you're hungry? Oh. I'm pretty sure everyone is a little bit grumpy, a little bit moany, a bit down if they're hungry. There's no one in the world that can say that they're happy being hungry. It's part of human nature to feed your body. But I think under the circumstances, I know that everyone else is in the same situation. So I'd get on with it. Now you've got your nice white jeans on this <laughs> afternoon and your nice t little t-shirt there. How oh. would you deal without washing? and being clean and only having two pairs of underwear. How would you deal with that? <laughs> I, I think I'd quite embrace it and not have the, the worry of getting up in the morning and thinking, oh, what if someone doesn't like that outfit? I think I'd quite enjoy just having like a minimal wardrobe. Just don't tell my boyfriend that. All right, Sarah, last question. What would you bring to the island in three words? I am um, quirky, practical and honest. <laughs>